friends, welcome to Universal Science. Today I am going to be showing you a PowerPoint presentation of carbon, the wonder element. So let's start. In this chapter, we are going to cover characteristics, compounds, allotropes and applications of carbon. Let's start with characteristics. So the common characteristics of carbon are the electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2 and 2p2. Sublimation point being 5530 degrees Celsius. The atomic mass of a carbon atom is 12.011. Density of carbon is 2.267 gram per centimeter cube. And the crystal structure is hexagonal close pack. So let's go on to the major compounds. The major compounds of carbon are carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, which is a very poisonous gas, carbonic acid, which is H2CO3, it's a mild acid, calcium carbonate, benzene, urea and alcohol. And under alcohol, there are many subtypes like ethyl alcohol, methyl alcohol, propyl and butyl alcohol. Now let's come to allotropes. Under allotropes, we first have diamond. Diamond, as you know, is a crystal allotrope of carbon. It's a octahedral crystal of carbon. And the formula of diamond is C8. Carbon makes a lot of uh, allotropes, um, major of them being diamond and graphite. But under them, there are thousands of subtypes. So let's cover them up. Next is graphite. The graphite is a sheet-like allotrope of carbon, unlike diamond, which is a crystal. So on the graphite, there are sheets and sheets of uh, carbon, uh, layers of carbon sheets. And thus, uh, graphite is used in pencil leads. So you can write. Under graphite, there are many subtypes like graphene. Graphene is a 2D allotrope of carbon and it's a newly discovered one. It's the best conductor of heat and electricity. And graphenolene, AA graphite, diamine, etc. Next is amorphous carbon. Then we come to nanocarbons. Under nanocarbons, there are Buckminster fullerenes, which you can see here. Carbon nanotubes, which is there in the above picture. Carbon nanobots and squadzites. Nanocarbons are really small because they are composed of just atoms. They are not compounds, right? Uh, the formula of Buckminster fullerene is C60 and it was discovered by Buckminster Fuller. So let's go to the next slide. Next up is glossy carbon. As you can see, the glossy carbon is very shiny and looks like obsidian. It looks just like glass, right? But it's totally black in color and it's almost pure carbon. And it's not glass. Glass is actually silicon dioxide, but it's totally an allotrope of carbon. Next is diatomic carbon. Let me explain what diatomic carbon is. As you can know, most of the non-metals like oxygen, hydrogen and nitrogen make their own gases like H2, which is hydrogen gas, O2 and N2, which is nitrogen gas. Similarly, carbon also forms a diatomic gas, which we call diatomic carbon. Its formula is C2 and the gas is not a colorless gas. Instead, it's a pale green colored gas, as you can see here. And the structure of diatomic carbon is above. And the formula of diatomic carbon is C2. Carbon nanoform is a form of carbon. And the allotrope comes in form structures, like you can see here. Next is carbide-derived carbon. 
Then we go to lobes dilate or hexagonal diamond. The structure of lobes dilate is shown here. And lobes dilate is looking like this. It's a diamond, but it's a hexagonal diamond, not octahedral like uh, diamond. But it's still a diamond and a carbon nanotrope. Next is linear acetylenic carbon. The main feature of linear acetylenic carbon is uh, the C triple bond C, which you can see here. The H bonds can be replaced by nitrogen and other, other elements also. But the main feature is C triple bond C. Next, we go to cyclocarbon. Cyclocarbons form uh, long chains of carbon like polymer but it's not polymer it's a carbon allotrope like these circular and triangular allotropes next we go to applications some common applications are uh, it's used in the manufacture of steel as you know two percent of steel is almost totally carbon and graphite is used in pencil leads for its Mm, loose structural bond it can be mm, separated layer by layer and thus uh, when we use the pencil on paper we get a black mark carbon fibers are used in automobile chases for their tensile strength diamond which is a carbon crystalline element is also used for the cutting of glass for its hardness Carbon is also the building block of all lively compounds such as carbohydrates, fats and proteins. With this, we come to the end of our presentation. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to our channel Universal Science. If you like this video, please send it to your friends and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.